So in the last episode, we had jumped on Craigslist, and after finding an ad that caught our attention, we called the owner and ended up getting ourselves a 325 for free. And luckily, with another quick search and a little negotiation, we were able to source a complete five-speed swap for just 400 bucks. With five speed in hand, we headed home to meet up with my friend who had just delivered the car. Well, everybody, here it is. This is what a free BMW looks like. Looks awesome, right? Now, don't feel too bad by just looking at these photos. In real life, there's rust everywhere. The paint is terrible. But you know what? You're not going to hear me complain at all. Especially since this thing was free. As you can imagine, we were so excited, of course, for the car and excavate any info we could on its past life. I mean, aside from the information we got from decoding the VIN, this car didn't come with any other paperwork. So all in all, we found only a few coins inside, some old french fries, and enough cigarette butts to build an industrial sized air filter. Thankfully though, the car doesn't smell like smoke at all. So one of the first things you'll notice walking around the outside of the car is that three of the doors aren't shut and they're all held closed by shoestring. But in order for the shoestring to do its job, it had to be run through the windows. But that's cool because all the windows are off their tracks anyway. And it was a double knot, so at least we know it was safe. Check this out, take a look at the tires. Get this, there's only a total of seven lug nuts holding all four wheels on. And this includes this one little greedy guy who somehow managed to keep four of them all to himself. It's not bad, you know, we just need a way to come up with like another 13. Oh, and by the way, all the tires are dry rotted also. And there's this. And what looks to be about a gallon of oil in the engine bay. Anyway, so guess what we just learned about our transmission? First gear will only crawl the car, but you've got to rev it above 5,000 RPMs. Neutral seems to work pretty good. Reverse doesn't work at all. And guess what? Neither does park. That's right, this transmission is so far gone, even park has left the party. And not having park is one of those things that would be nice to know before coming to a stop on a slight incline. Use the e-brake, you say? Good advice if I knew I had to get it out of the trunk first. So all in all, what more could we ask for in a free BMW? And what's the craziest thing out of everything we found today, you ask? It's the fact that this car still has a valid out-of-state inspection sticker. That's right, can you imagine this thing driving next to you down the highway? All right, so we know this car is gonna need a lot of work, but it's also gonna need a ton of parts too. So I'm gonna go to FCP Euro to put our order in. It's already one o'clock here on Friday, and we're really hoping to get this stuff for Monday. So with all the gaskets, filters, mounts, and bushings, what's the damage? Just 316 bucks, and that's with faster shipping. This is no joke. Take a look at their site and you'll see what I'm talking about. In some cases, prices have even gone down recently on the parts I ordered. With the shirts handed out, we set to work getting this car stripped down to bare metal. First things to go were the tan seats, carpet, and door panels. And we thought it was best to immediately get this carpet to the corner car wash and blast off all the years of who knows what. After being hung for about a day to dry, the carpet was ready to be dyed using a simple mix of rid tie-dye solution from the local store and household vinegar. For the whole carpet, we only used about nine bucks worth of dye and vinegar, and the results look awesome. Having finished coloring the carpet, we couldn't wait to get it back in and see how it looked. And with the rear seats and dashboard painted, we got to work getting some of the interior put back in. Just remember, the dash, seats, and door panels all used to be tan. It's a pretty good result out of a spray can, don't you think? If you haven't done so already, click the car in the upper right hand corner to subscribe, and make sure to check out the next episodes to see us swap in the manual transmission, rebuild the entire suspension, and finally find out what the heck is making that noise in the engine bay. Hope the motor's not blown. Thanks for watching.